Boys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be doing a beginner-friendly guide of how to drift like a pro in car parking multiplayer. Everything from choosing the right car to upgrading and tuning your car, plus some tips of how to use the drift controls like a true professional. So let's get right into it. Before you even start drifting, you have to pick a car. And you cannot do this without understanding which cars are good and bad for drifting. So I suggest getting onto YouTube and searching for the top 20 or top 10 best drift cars in CPM. And the reason you have to do this is because some cars on the game are more grippy than others, and therefore they're impossible to drift. Lol. But if you're a complete beginner, I recommend using this Nissan Skyline 2000 or the Mercedes 180E, because both of these cars are affordable, they're very cheap, and they're considered to be on the top five list of the best drift cars in the game. Lol. After you've picked a car, you now have to upgrade it. When upgrading your car, it's very important that you either use the V12 or W16 engine. Because the higher the horsepower, the better the car will drift. And after you've installed the engine, you're then going to install the other parts and make sure you install the correct tires. They're called the touring tires, boys. Because installing the wrong tires will actually prevent your car from drifting. And after all the upgrades, your car should either have 1695 or 925 HP, which stands for horsepower. And once you're done upgrading the car, you're then going to join a map to burn the tires. It's very important that you burn the tires before putting the gearbox, because if you burn the tires after, the car won't drift properly. It will be very grippy and unstable. So burn your tires first, boys. And if you don't know how to burn the tires, don't worry, I got you. So after you've joined a server, you're going to open the settings and put your car on AWD. Then you're going to go against a wall, press and hold the gas pedal for five minutes until there's 0% on these. Step four is tuning the car. You cannot make the gearbox and suspension yourself, boys. So you'll need to copy them from my YouTube shorts. I've uploaded a drift tune for almost every driftable car that is on the game. But on this video, I'll be using the Mercedes-Benz 1990E. This is the setup I'll be using. And you guys can go ahead and copy it if you're going to be using this car as well. It works for both the V12 and W16 engines. With the car tuning done, this means that you are two steps away from learning how to drift like a pro. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100K subscribers by the end of this year. Drift controls and how to use them. The settings, boys. This will be the last thing we'll have to adjust and then get into the drifting part. First things first. You'll straight up have to put the steering sensitivity in the middle. And then you're gonna make sure you have all of these disabled because they'll just mess up your gas pedal. You'll also have to turn off these car settings and put the car on AWD. After doing all of this, you'll notice that your car will start feeling very smooth and drifty. So how and when to use the controls? We'll start with the brake pedal. The brake pedal is used at times where you turn too early. This is what would have happened if I used the brake pedals on the same scenario. but do not hold it for that long if your car is going slow. Now let's move on to the gas pedal. The gas pedal is used to accelerate the car, but it can also be used as a brake when drifting in tight places. It's crucial to spam tap it, to slow down the car speed, and to avoid crashing into objects. Should you drift in drive or manual? Honestly, you can drift with both, but if you're new to drifting, I suggest drifting with manual because you have more control over the car speed. But which gear should you drift in? This depends on the car and the tune you're using. But if you use my setups, then you should use gear two or three. The handbrake is used to make an instant turn. You can use it in scenarios where you do not have enough room to do a drift entry or when you turn late. When doing a 360, the handbrake is also very useful because it'll help keep your car on the road and it'll make your car turn faster in the process how to drift like a pro. Now that you guys know how to use the controls, let's get over some basics of drifting. To do a wide drift entry, you have to move your car towards the opposite side of the entry point, like this, and try to get as close to the wall as possible. And when you're drifting, make sure to always brake before you make a turn. This will make your drifts look smoother. There's another mistake I've seen a lot of players do. Making the steering angle very high, this used to be good back in the days, okay, but not anymore. Now it'll just make your car oversteer. I suggest keeping it at 45 or anything below. And if you're struggling with doing long drifts, try using higher gears like three or four 
Now in this drift clip I'm about to show you boys, I want you observe and learn something from it. Pay attention to how I control the car. And comment W if you've made it this far, so I know who the real supporters are. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And as always, stay sexy. Peace.